All right, now I'm on page P148, the Go Math homework, follow along. At the end of the first round in a quiz show, Jeremy has at most negative 20 points. Write an inequality, that means at most negative 20. So um, Jeremy, we'll just use J for Jeremy. Jeremy has at most, so Jeremy can have less than because that's the most he can have, or equal to negative 20. He can't have more than negative 20. Okay, describe the meaning of y is in words. So we would just say y must be greater than Because the opened end is facing the y, so y has to be greater than. It does have the line underneath, so or equal to 7.9. Okay, number three, let y represent Jaren's age in years. If Dawn were five years older, she would be Jaren's age, which ex expression represents Dawn's age. So we have Y is J Jaren's age. Dawn was five years older, so older we're adding. She would be which expression? Well, there's my expression. Expression doesn't have an equal sign, so Y plus five would be the expression that represents Dawn's age because she's going to be whatever Jaren is, which we said we're going to put in Y for Jaren plus five years older than that. Okay, simplify the expression, so you're just multiplying 7 times 3 and adding your g to the end of it. Number 5, what is the solution for the equation 8 equals 8f? Well, this is multiplication, so we need to divide both sides by 8. Okay, that's going to leave you with just f on this side, equals, and then you're going to have your answer here when you, after you do 8 divided by 8. Number six, which of the following are solutions for the inequality k is less than negative two? So you're just plugging in k is zero. Well, is zero less than negative two? Well, on a number line, if we have zero here, this would be negative one, this would be negative two. So zero would be further to the right, so zero would actually be greater than, not less than. So that would not be a solution to the inequality. And then so you just need to check now these other four uh, numbers for k and see if they make the uh, variable true. If they do, they're part of your answer. If they don't, you can X them out and get rid of them. They're not part of your answer. All right. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as usual.